OK, so let's continue with our tour of yesterday's White House coronavirus press briefing. I already went over parts, uh, I guess, A and B or one and two with you. Number one, Donald Trump said, why do people like Dr. Fauci, but they don't like Trump? Why does Dr. Fauci have a high approval and Trump has a low approval when Fauci works for Trump? Trump couldn't understand it. It was really, really weird. Uh, also yesterday, and we already went over this in the last segment, Donald Trump told a a black reporter, I believe maybe the one black reporter in the room that he looks like nearly 80 year old Jewish man, Michael Bloomberg. So that was weird in its own way. But none of that is as crazy as what we're now going to talk about. Trump almost seems normal in those instances compared to what I'm going to talk about now. Donald Trump Jr. was temporarily limited on Twitter yesterday because he shared a video of a doctor named Stella Emanuel who spoke in favor of hydroxychloroquine for coronavirus and believes having sex with demons can cause illness and believes there's a plan to vaccinate Americans from becoming religious. That'd be an interesting vaccine. And Donald Trump shared the exact same video of Stella Emanuel to his 84 million Twitter followers, but later took it down once the uh, you know what started to hit the fan. Now, to avoid problems ourselves, I'm not going to play the video for you, but you can find the video easily if you want to. The same doctor, Stella Emanuel, said you don't need to wear a mask, which is actually dangerous disinformation. She also said that there's already a cure out there for coronavirus. So Trump was asked about her during the press briefing. This is a really good video. You're going to hear CNN reporter Caitlin Collins list some of the things that Stella Emanuel said and believes. And Trump doubles down. Check this out. And then when Caitlin Collins tries to follow up, Trump triggered ends the press briefing immediately and walks out of the room. The woman that you said is a great doctor in that video that you retweeted last night said that masks don't work and there is a cure for COVID-19, both of which health experts say is not true. She's also made videos saying that doctors make medicine using DNA from aliens and that they're trying to create a vaccine to make you immune from becoming religious. Well, maybe it's the same, so, maybe it's not, but I, I can't I can tell you this. That. She was on air along with many other doctors. They were big fans of hydroxychloroquine, and I thought she was very impressive in the sense that from where she came, I don't know which country she comes from, but she said that she's had tremendous success with hundreds of different patients, and I thought her voice was an important voice, but I know nothing about her. Yeah, go ahead, Paul. Last week, you said go ahead. Last week, well, real quick. Last okay, week, you said thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Now, I'm going to admit something to you. Yesterday throughout the day, I sort of heard rumblings about Don Jr. was limited on Twitter for sharing some video, but I was busy preparing the show, the podcast, etc. And then I heard something about demon sperm trending on Twitter, but I was busy preparing for my live stream. And so I didn't really follow the story closely. You know, you hear about demon sperm. I didn't know it was related to Don Jr. Didn't pay much attention. I thought, well, demon sperm must be some light heart hearted story. Maybe it's something from a video game. Who knows? And then meanwhile, Don Jr. was limited on Twitter. I thought maybe there's a comedic element here. There's a meme element, a joke. I don't know. I didn't consider for a second that the entire thing could have been related to something that Donald Trump was promoting himself. She believes in demonic sperm that can cause gynecological problems. And that's who Donald Trump is saying has a voice that should really be heard on the issue of coronavirus and on the issue of hydroxychloroquine. This is also intense, by the way. Yesterday, Stella Emanuel tweeted out an article written about her in The Daily Beast. Look at what she wrote. She tweeted, quote, the Daily Beast did a great job summarizing our deliverance ministry. And exp I hope you're sitting down and exposing incubus and succubus. Thank you, Daily Beast. If you need deliverance from these spirits, contact us. Deliverance ministry. When she seems to be promoting almost like an exorcism of some kind. Show us the alien DNA. She, uh, show us the vaccine 
that, by the way, a vaccine to prevent people from becoming religious would be very interesting in a number of ways. The country may be better off if such a vaccine actually existed on the net. Now, I know that I'm not saying all religion is bad or anything like that, but on the net, we might be better off with such a vaccine. Imagine a press. Imagine anyone calling this woman a highly respected doctor whose voice is important, then realize that it's the president of the United States who is doing it. So what I want to think about is, is Trump this stupid or does Donald Trump just prioritize angering the left? And remember, prior to Trumpism, the three main wings of the American right were small government type liberty folks, you know, people like in the Tea Party and the, the more libertarian minded, the low tax pro business conservatives like Mitt Romney, as an example, who aren't the most socially conservative people, but sometimes they are. But it's really not as much about social issues as it is about low taxes and a pro business environment. And then the third wing would be the religious conservatives whose priority is, you know, often evangelical Christians who care the most about abortion, social issues, gay marriage, et cetera. Under Trumpism, there's this fourth wing. And it's a wing that, as I discussed yesterday with Coleman Hughes, it's not really about policy. It's about angering the other side. And so is that what Trump is fundamentally doing here and kowtowing to and placating? Just if the left thinks this woman's crazy, then I should defend her. And is it as simple as that? Uh, or does Trump genuinely think that this is somebody that should be listened to? I mean, I just don't get it. I don't I don't really know what's but what, what this is all about. And it's always easy to say it's meant to be a distraction. It's meant to be a distraction from the coronavirus death toll, which spiked over twelve hundred yesterday for the first time in a while. Or it's meant to be a distraction from the fact that Trump's losing every poll or, you know, you can always say it's a distraction. But I think that there's probably some deeper explanation or understanding that we could have here. Insane absolutely insane. And, and I, I don't have the clip, but I guess today when Trump was doing the helicopter press conference, just as he was walking out to his chopper, uh, he was asked again about this doctor, Stella Emanuel, and like tripled down on it, although I haven't seen that video yet. I will take a look at it. Let me know what you think explains what's going on here. If you love feeding your intellectual curiosity, but you're always struggling to find the time, check out one of my all time favorite apps called Blinkist. Blinkist lets you consume an entire book on your way home from work. They take thousands of popular nonfiction books, condense each one into text or audio that you can get through in just 15 minutes and you get all of the important core ideas and information from that book. It's perfect if you don't have enough time to do all the reading you want to do or if you just want to sample a book before you buy the entire thing. I recently read A Brief History of Time, of course, by the great Stephen Hawking. This is a book that I have been aware of for so long and other things got in the way. And it was fantastic to check it out on Blinkist. Blinkist has books on politics, philosophy, science. They have 27 different nonfiction categories and a subscription is only about eight bucks a month and you get the entire library. But you can try it totally free and get 25 percent off a subscription when you go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. I've put the link right underneath this video.